11, one final piece of a puzzle is starting to bring together downtown Cleveland. The Cleveland Athletic Club was the last proposal to get the go-ahead for a revitalization project on Euclid Avenue. News 5's James Girardi joins us now. And James, you found this will be big for the city in terms of tax revenue. Yeah, Danita, the city stands to make millions of dollars here. This project, though, just the latest in what we all know has been a booming few years for downtown Cleveland. This 100-year-old Cleveland landmark has sat waiting for a facelift since 2007. It's kind of a missing tooth on Euclid Avenue. Cleveland Councilman Kerry McCormick, though, was happy to sign off on a $62 million renovation of the Cleveland Athletic Club. One that'll put 200 apartment units in here and street level retail complete with shopping, bars and restaurants. In Cleveland, we've lost a lot of good buildings due to demolition over the years. And so it's exciting to see a building like the Cleveland Athletic Club, which has such a rich and interesting history to it, be preserved in a vibrant and productive use. Euclid Avenue is no stranger to renovation. The latest in its renaissance is this, the old Huntington Bank building and the stretch of storefronts next to it. McCormick says these projects are crucial to driving tax dollars downtown and getting to the coveted 20,000 downtown residents the city has been hoping for. It's projects like that that are going to get us there. And projects like Nucleus, the planned 55-story residential, commercial, and retail space in the works for years, still happening, according to McCormick. When you have folks moving into the city, these are going to be income taxes that are going to be coming into the city's coffers, folks that are going to, you know, patronizing the retail in the area and spending in other places. Construction here has already begun. McCormick telling me it'll take a year and a half to two years to complete. Reporting live in downtown Cleveland for News 5, I'm James Girardi. Only on News 5.